let us first see what is the activity series that means how the metals are arranged in their decreasing order because we want to understand how the metallurgy can be done now as you see a list of metals is written here potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper mercury silver gold now you must have seen how it is coming down in the decreasing order if i put a mark here arrow pointing downwards i can see that potassium is at the top first few metals are very highly reactive as we go down the series the reactivity decreases and that is why this series is called reactivity series of metals Now based on this series we are going to divide them into three categories. Now what are those three categories and why we are going to divide it? We are going to divide them into three categories because because based on those categories we are going to decide what will be the process of metallurgy. Now you see these first four that means potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium are quite reactive as compared to others. Therefore, we are going to put them in the metals of high reactivity. These are the metals which are put in this category because they are highly reactive. The other elements like aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, these are put in medium category. That means the category of this these elements they are in the medium that means they are not so reactive not so less reactive also so we will put them in metals of medium category or medium reactivity so what about the rest of things that means copper mercury silver gold you can see in this series they are at the most least bottom part now what are the, why are they here they are here because they are not so reactive they do not react so easily with any of the compounds present or elements present in their surroundings so that is why we are going to put them in the category of least or low reactivity metals of low reactivity so we can just recap what we have done we have made a reactivity series of some common metals we have put them in a decreasing order when we put them in a decreasing order this is called as reactivity series of metals once we have made into a series we will see which are highly reactive which are medium reactive or which are very low reactive potassium sodium calcium magnesium these are the elements or the metals which show quite high reactivity and that is why we have put them in metals of high reactivity aluminium zinc iron lead these are the metals of medium reactivity not so high not so low and the last four copper mercury silver gold they are present in the low reactivity series because they are very very less reactive as compared to other elements.